Hello everyone, Jolene here from Bookworm Adventure Girl. Welcome back. I hope that you are all well. And if you are new, thanks so much for checking out my channel. Please hit subscribe and stick around. Today I'm going to be doing another book pairing. I've done a few of these now up to this point, and I want to shout out a few other booktubers who have kind of taken this idea and have also been doing book pairings as well. Um, my buddy AJ from AJ Dunn Reads and Writes uh, recently posted their video on seven complimentary book pairings. Um, so that was a great video and I liked all pairings. So um, my friends Rebecca and Tara at Canada Reads American Style, they both shared book pairings that they liked on their podcast. And then Ketavan from Ketavan Reads did a video on book pairings that had to do with race, motherhood, and mental health. So I will leave links to all of their channels and to those particular videos, so you can definitely go and check those out if you are interested in checking out more pairings. So today I am going to pair another fiction and non-fiction book. And both books, what they have in common is bees. And I rated both of these four stars. So I'm going to start with the nonfiction book, which I read with uh, my book club at the time. Uh, earlier last year, I think we read it, and it's called The Honey Bus, a memoir of loss, courage, and a girl saved by bees. And this is by Meredith May. And this book is a coming of age story when Meredith's parents split up her mother takes her and her brother to live with her grandparents. And the mother clearly needs help. She's neglectful of her children, um, I'm sure had mental illness of some kind. Um, and even though in some ways this was not the best situation either, it was definitely better than other alternatives. Um, the relationship that the children have with their grandparents and especially the relationship between Meredith and her grandfather is the most stable relationship that they have. Um, the grandmother is not the stereotypical warm and fuzzy and nurturing grandmother. She seems almost resentful that the children are with them and at one point they even make the brother stay in a trailer because they don't think that there's enough room um, in the house as the kids are getting older. Um, but the grandmother, you know, makes sure that they go to school, that they have food to eat, and that they have clothes. Um, and then Meredith's grandfather has a gentleness about him, and the two of them have a beautiful connection. And he is a beekeeper, and he has an old bus in their backyard that he makes honey out of. Uh, almost immediately, Meredith is drawn to and fascinated by the bees and she has strong memories from an early age of you know not um, having fear of the bees uh, and realizing that they are incredible creatures. So after school Meredith begins to learn about the bees from her grandfather and she's able to translate the lessons that she is learning um, from the bees to her own life so as the reader, we learn about the bees too. And I loved how this book kind of comes full circle. Even though the story is about Meredith's childhood, uh, we are kind of given a glimpse into her later life and how the connection to her grandfather and to the bees continued to guide her life. And then the fiction book that I want to talk about that I am pairing the honey bus with uh, is a debut novel that I read at the end of last year, and it's The Music of Bees by Eileen Garvin. And the protagonist in this story is Alice. She's in a job that she doesn't love, um, although she's very good at it. Um, in fact, she's so good at it that they really take advantage of her. And she finds her solace in her hobby of raising honeybees. And Alice is also grieving the death of her husband. And the next character is Jake. Jake is in a wheelchair and he meets Alice when she basically runs into him with her pickup truck. Um, and my heart immediately went out to Jake because he seems like a really great kid, but his home life is definitely not great. It's not welcoming at all. 
His father is very mean and cruel to him. And yet even with that, Jake has a great sense of humor and just a really good heart. So he's my favorite character in the story. Um, Alice invites Jake to her farm and he immediately becomes interested in the bees. And Alice notices that he's actually really good with the bees. And for Jake, the farm is an escape from his home life. So Alice also hires Harry to work on the farm and he, he has an interesting background as well. And I loved his friendship with Jake. It felt very real and authentic. And all three characters have experienced some kind of loss. Their lives have taken unexpected turns and they're having to figure out like what is next for them. So the bees and the farm unite them and they find friendship and a found family with each other. So both of these uh, books are heartwarming. I think they were heartwarming reads. They both deal with difficult and real life situations, but they also have hopeful messages. And they both deal with loss, family, and the healing power of bees. So let me know if you have read either of these books or if you are interested in either of them. Uh, there are also tons of books out there that are about bees. So let me know if you have any bee books that you would either pair together or that you would pair with either of these. I look forward to chatting with you in the comments. Thanks again for watching. I hope you enjoy the rest of the day and don't forget to make every day an adventure. Thank you.